Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're serving up something fresh from the world of tennis. We're diving deep into the life of one of the most exciting young prospects on the ATP Tour, Janik Sinner. Ranking Janik Sinner is a professional tennis player from Italy. The Association of Tennis Professionals ranked him as high as world number 8 in singles on April 10, 2023, and world number 124 in doubles on September 27, 2021. Sinner has seven ATP singles titles and one doubles title. By winning the 2020 Sofia Open, Sinner became the youngest ATP title holder since 2008, and the youngest to have five titles since Novak Djokovic in 2007. By winning the 2021 City Open, he became the first teenage ATP 500 champion since the category was renamed in 2009. Earlier Life Janik Sinner was born on August 16, 2001, in the small town of Inichin, located in the South Tyrol region of northern Italy. He was introduced to several sports at a young age by his father, who is a cook, and his mother, who works as a waitress at a restaurant. Although his early days in athletics were focused more on skiing, it was tennis that captured Sinner's heart. He won the Italian Junior Championships at the age of 8, 12, which was an early indication of his talent and dedication to the sport. However, despite their passion, he still split his time between tennis and skiing until the age of 13, when he had to make a choice. This was a big decision, considering he was a promising skiing prospect and had been on the slopes since he was three years old. Ultimately, Sinner chose tennis, and to enhance his skills and provide him with a better training environment. When he was 13, he moved to the Italian Riviera in an academy to train with veteran coach Riccardo Piatti. This academy in northern Italy provided him with an environment where he could train and compete with some of Italy's best young talents. Career On the Ligurian coast in Bordighera, Sinner met Riccardo Piatti, a renowned Italian coach who has worked with several top tennis players. Piatti quickly identified Sinner's potential and began coaching him. Under Piatti's tutelage, Sinner's game evolved rapidly, and he made his professional debut on the ITF Futures Tour at the tender age of 16. So from the quiet, snowy town of Inichin to the intense, highly competitive world of professional tennis, Sinner's early life was marked by hard work, determination, and an exceptional passion for tennis. It's these qualities that have propelled him to success on the ATP Tour and made him one of the brightest young stars in the sport today. Janik Sinner's professional career began at an early age and has since shown a trajectory that suggests a promising future in the world of tennis. After starting his career in the ITF Futures and ATP Challenger circuits, Sinner earned his first ATP main draw win in April 2019 at the Hungarian Open. This was quickly followed by another significant milestone later in the year when he won the Next Generation ATP Finals in Milan, becoming the youngest ever champion in the tournament's history. Sinner spent more time on the ATP Tour than the Challenger Tour in the second half of the season. His first ATP Masters victory came against Steve Johnson at the Italian Open, and he broke into the top 200 with his next ATP victory at the Croatia Open Umag in July. The following month, he won his second ATP Challenger title in Lexington, becoming one of only 11 17-year-olds to do so. Sinner qualified for his first Grand Slam main draw at the US Open after losing and qualifying at Wimbledon. He was defeated in his debut match by number 24, Stan Wawrinka. Sinner had a strong season finale. He became the youngest player in five years to reach an ATP semifinal as a wild card at the European Open. He defeated top seed and world number 13 Gail Monfils along the way to claim his first career top 50 win. One week later, his performance helped him break into the top 100 for the first time. Sinner qualified for the 2019 Next Gen ATP Finals as the Italian wildcard and lowest seed at the end of the season. He won his round robin group, defeating Francis Tiafo and Mikhail Imer while losing only to Ugo Humbert. Sinner defeated Miomir Kekmanovi in the semi finals before defeating top seed and world number 18 Alex de Minaur in straight sets to win the title. Sinner had a successful season restart after the ATP Tour was shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Despite losing in the first round of the US Open to Karen Kachanov, he fared better in Europe. He advanced to the third round of the Rome Masters, where he defeated world number six, Stefanos Tsitsipas. He went on to become the French Open's youngest quarterfinalist since Novak Djokovic in 2006, and the first to make the quarterfinals on debut since Rafael Nadal in 2005. He defeated Goffin again during the tournament, as well as US Open runner-up and world number seven Alexander Zverev before falling to Nadal, following a semi-final loss to Zverev at the Cologne Championship. The year 2019 marked Sinner's first ATP title win. He won the Sofia Open in Bulgaria, defeating Vasek Pospisil in the final. This victory made him the youngest Italian in the Open era to win an ATP title. Sinner became the first male player born in the 2000s to break into the top 10 after reaching the semifinals of the Vienna Open on November 1st. Sinner received a bye in the first round of the Rolex Paris Masters, but was defeated by Carlos Alcaraz. Sinner was unable to directly qualify for the season-ending NITO ATP Finals as a result of this. Lifestyle, net worth, and endorsement. Now let's talk about his lifestyle, his endorsements, and salary. So far, Sinner's career prize money totals $8,674,960. His net worth is estimated to be $12 million. Sinner was sponsored by HEAD an American Dutch sports and clothing company, for his on-court apparel until May 2019, when Sinner partnered with Nike, an American sponsor. He is, however, still endorsed by Head for his rackets. Sinner joined Lavazza, Parmigiano Reggiano, Technogym, and Alfa Romeo as brand ambassadors for Rolex in 2020. Despite his rapid rise in professional tennis, Sinner has opted to stay in his home region of South Tyrol, known for its tranquil beauty and close-knit community. Instead of moving to a bustling city, he values his hometown's calmness and solitude, allowing him to focus on his game and stay grounded. A huge part of Sinner's lifestyle revolves around his rigorous training routine. He has gained a reputation for his intense work ethic and dedication to continuously improving his game. This can often mean long hours on the court, in the gym, and reviewing game strategies with his coach. Off the court, Sinner is known for enjoying life's simpler pleasures. He is a self-professed lover of video games, and he has often spoken about how he enjoys outdoor activities such as hiking and skiing in his free time. Additionally, he has expressed a love for cooking, particularly traditional Italian dishes. It seems that despite his incredible talent and success, Sinner remains in many ways a typical young man. Despite his fame, Sinner maintains a relatively private personal life, rarely delving into details about his relationships or family during interviews. He has spoken about the importance of maintaining a balance between his professional and personal life and likes to spend quality time with his family and close friends. So, although his lifestyle might not be filled with flashy cars or high-profile parties, Janik Sinner's commitment to his craft, his love for simple pleasures, and his affinity for his roots make his lifestyle quite unique and admirable. It's a testament to his grounded nature and determination to succeed on his own terms. He is the brand ambassador for the Italian car manufacturer Alfa Romeo and owns some fantastic Alfa Romeo vehicles. Like many other tennis players, Janik Sinner lives in a luxurious house with his family in Monte Carlo, Monaco. The house's value, however, is unknown. He has maintained a relatively private personal life, often keeping the focus on his tennis career during interviews and public appearances. His home region is South Tyrol, Italy, and he has often spoken about the tranquility and charm of this area. It's not uncommon for professional athletes to invest in property in their home regions, but it's unclear whether Sinner has made such investments. It's important to note that as Sinner's career progresses and his public visibility potentially increases, more information about his personal lifestyle might become available. However, as of now, the young tennis star seems more focused on his sport than on acquiring or flaunting luxury items. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you want us to make more films videos this, please subscribe to the channel and leave your video recommendations in the comments section.